Hey up everyone, and welcome back to our Battle Brothers playthrough for Lone Wolf on Iron Man. Last time we left off, we were just leaving at Eidzvik, we just finished the last contract, and we were a bit worse for wear for tools. Um, I've done a little bit of work in the background just to speed things up a bit. Um, I have noticed the tools are way too expensive here, so we are going to move to a, another town very quickly. Um, and once I've found some better prices for tools, We'll go over the objectives for today. Okay, nice one. So we finally got to a place which sells much cheaper tools just because our reputation in Talbot Moose is the best across the entire country, probably because we haven't stolen from them yet. Uh, <laughs> let's just skip past that quickly. Right, okay, so the objectives for this video. Obviously we've got four guys. Um, as you'll see, they're quite injured right now because I had to deal with some barbarians off camera. Um, Arnulf, our archer, is pretty knackered anyway, so I expect him to die pretty quickly, but I'm just going to use him as a Johnny Meat Shield, so that's fine. Um, but by the end of this video, I do want to get six, six decent lads. Um, I want to get them all into more specialised, so in terms of perks, I want them to actually get to like the mastery levels and start actually branching them out into their own like classes, as it were. Um, and finally, I want to see if I can find us some better armor as well. Um, because as it stands, only I've got decent armor, everyone else is below 100. If we can aim for around 100 for all the frontliners, that would be perfect. But we'll see how we go. For the time being, um, I've just sold off everything at Talbot Moose, and I am about to take a contract. So, let's start there. Just another beast one. It's probably spiders. It's always spiders. I should let myself recover, to be honest, because my guys are pretty knackered. Um, oh, and Xeras, okay. Fight me out in the fields, you casuals. Oh, man. Well. This could get awkward. Although we do have elevation. So even though we are injured, might not bad. Oh, that's bad. All right. Try and use this as like a bastion of hope against all these little grey assholes. Come on, guys. Come closer. Don't want to kill you all yet. So why should we start eating each other? I don't know why I expect it, I'm still disappointed. You know, the shield wall, are you actually that knackered? <laughs> uh, yeah, you've got 60% less fatigue. That's fair. Man, you could probably do two attacks. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Things could be worse. Things are getting worse. Man, you can literally do one here. 89, 83, 89! <laughs> Baby! Alright, well. I call that a good start. If only I had extra. Alright. So you're telling me there's a chance? Got him. I think he'll bleed out. Arnulf. Come on, Meat Shield. I gave you that name in chest, but you're actually now Meat Shield. Oh, slap me around the head. Damn. You are out of here. 3-9? 3-9? Nah. He's gone. Can I move over there? Nope. I can move down here, though. He's having more. Ah, Arnulf. On cloud nine. Wasn't thinking straight. Mate. Can I catch this guy? It is what it is, Sailor V. I said he was a meat shield, and he fulfilled his promise just like that. 
Hmm, plus I'd got all this stuff back, so I'm fine with it. Now it means I need to hire three more instead of two more. But, decent crowns. A few uh, things I can make into trophies. I can use as necklaces, which increase resolve, so that's always good as well. I'm going to get to the taxidermist. Okay, now that's everyone's stuff dealt with and level ups done. Um, I'm now going to have a look and see who we've got. Now, we do have a hunter. Hunters are some of the best in terms of bow and arrows. I mean, he is quite expensive, but he starts at level 2. So he's sort of worth it. Um, I am tempted to see what the contract is, complete the contract, come back and get him. Although it is a travel contract. Um, where is it going? Birdfall. I have no idea what that is. Ha! Huh! No! Oh wow, yeah, okay, you know what? Free fatigue, fatigue per turn and vision during night time. Done. Alright, let's have a look at this, this bald and boisterous guy. The annoying thing is, he doesn't have any stars in range skill. Although, he does have three stars in resolve, so I suppose he won't be running away anytime soon, I guess. I'm gonna do my very best to make sure this man doesn't die, because he was one expensive man. Uh, okay, so I'll swap out that. Give him a bit more of that. Uh, his fatigue's pretty decent. Um, he gets recovery each turn, and he sees vision at night time, which is actually really handy for um, ranged people. I will most likely give him. Well, start off with students, so he levels up quicker. Alright, sack it. Now we've got him, let's go on a bit of an adventure. Let's go down to Grunenbach to begin with, um, mainly because Ovastead still hate us for stealing all their money, which I guess is understandable. Okay, small little town, small little people. There's a Bowyer here as well, he's a lot cheaper than the other guy. Daytellers don't really excel in anything. Lumberjacks aren't awful because they're pretty good with axes and he comes with relatively decent axe, but he is an expensive man. Um, the poacher is probably... No. Egon's probably going to be better, but... I can't really afford either right now. So let's see what they've got for us. Okay, simple enough. Find a scroll at the keep. Now, one thing to watch out for these quests is if you do the wrong, um, if it gives you a multiple choice thing, if you do the wrong one, you might accidentally awaken the skeleton army, which is as non kosher as you probably expect. Um, I'm just going to see what. Man, you guys are not looking fly, are you? I'm going to just camp for just a day. Alright, nice one. Let's see if everyone's as healed as they can be. 40 points, 20 fatigue. I might actually just take him out for a bit, you know. It's tempting. Let's see what we've got. What's the worst could happen other than obliteration? Ah, so you've chosen death! Oh boy, and what's worse is all the weapons I've got, Barb and Mace, aren't perfect for skeletons, so I'm going to rely on pure luck here. See what happens. I'll leave it on just in case, that's fine. I'm going to leave him there for the time being because he did not have a great time there. 20 freeze, is what it is. He can't move, that's fine. He should move into that space, that's also fine. Don't really want to accidentally butcher one of my guys. Sleep tight. And I was worried. He says he's not moving up any of his men. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sneak 23, of course, no? No, oh, not even a 52, eh? Yeah, I just don't trust 
the unlikeness of that guy will just clock us. I don't really want to do that. Alright. No harm, no foul. That was actually fine. Um, I actually used myself as a bit of a meat shield myself this time. Just to make sure that our two injured boys did not get absolutely murked. But, we still got experience, so it's fine. That all worked out. Easy money. Let's return. Alright. High spirits. Let's see what that has an effect on town. So high spirits, they are eager more eager to do business with me. So when this is open, like the prices will be a lot better. So let's just go to sleep. And come back. Yeah, so... Okay, I mean, they're not as good as they could be. That's probably down to terrified villagers as well. Yeah, deal less favorably, so... Let's see what the quest is. That's more skeletons. I don't think we're ready for a three-star quest right now. And there's no one I particularly want to hire. So I think we're just gonna... Bid farewell to this place and move on to the next. Okay, let's see if this town that apparently hates us has got anything for us. Mm, Alright. Whoa, maybe not him. That is the wonky bow. Don't want any wonky bows. Don't really want any cultists because they might end up spreading into my camp, which I don't really want to do. Um, none of these guys are really that great. Like, the best one is the miner, and even then. His fatigue's terrible because of his minor background. And he's alright, but his bow sucks. But I do have that backup bow, so I could just give him that one instead. I'm gonna see what quests we got, and then go from there. A simple track quest to find this missing item. Oh, cool. New ambition. Let's have a gander. So, battle stand is usually good. Um, also, what's good about the payment. Um, ambitions is it always adds more crowns than you actually need so you don't end up being on negative crowns when it takes it off you I think the battle standards are fa actually a thousand crowns so it leaves you with a thousand crowns afterwards so it makes sure that you don't go into the minuses dozen men would be great but we're only aiming for about six in this episode so maybe next time I am gonna go for a yield battle standard It's actually quite a good pull arm, and it's technically three. Right, where are these assholes? Alright, thugs. Let's go, lads! Alright, what's your percentage? 47. Not great. I'll wait for him to get a little bit closer. I am a little bit worried about Emmerich with the stab cut still. His fatigue isn't great. His health isn't great either. Uh, so I am going to pull him back slightly and spear wall him. I'm going to shield wall Einar because he's still only got six action points to nine, which is not ideal. And I'm going to stay here with Moi. Okay, 55%. Shoot him, shoot him in the head. Shot him regardless. I'll tell you what. Who's coming to dinner? Don't. Nobody rush. Oh, man. Keep deflecting it. I'm fine with that. He's going to be able to do that. And that. No. Not quite. Nine. Nine? Nice. <sighs> I do love that. Very much. I'll stay where I am for the time being, because I'll have to go through me to get to him. Hmm, I'll do that. That's also okay, I guess. Right. Let's see what happens. That's more like it. Break his nose. Don't break my nose. Or his. Right, well. 
Hang tight. I'll try and resolve this. Good night. I'd call that more or less resolved. Could I just... Clock him. Literally, just crack him in the head. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Very sad that that didn't happen. Well, better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> Hilmar, come back, man. You're bleeding everywhere. MVP, 10 out of 10, best player in the game so far. Punched him to death. Like I know over here, he's actually got a weapon. You're the weapon, mate. Let's stop f fucking around here. Hilmar, man, your first kill, and it was with your bare fists. We are going places. We're going north. Now, if I go back here, the reason why in the original episode I picked to reset the equipment after every fight is, you'll notice I took his bow off, but now it's back on, which is good, because if I went to another fight all of a sudden, he'd be just unarmed, which, at this point, I don't doubt he could probably kill someone with his hands, but I prefer it with a bow. Okay, there's nothing for us here. They obviously still hate us. Um, I'm going to quickly take... I'm actually going to take the quest this time and not sack it off and forget about it and then get annoyed when I get there. I'm going to quickly go to Eidsvik, because that's where I was going to plan to go anyway, to see if I can get some cheap medical supplies and tools, and see if I can find... The fifth, maybe sixth brother. Alright, Eidsvik we are at. Let's see what we've got. Taxidermy is still here. I could technically make an antidote, but I'm not really in the area of poisons right now. We haven't even seen a single goblin yet. Yet. But once you see one, you'll see a million. Um, I'm not really a big fan of either tailors or thieves. Like, the reflexes are alright, and they're really handy to get armor from people because they can just stab, stab, stab. But maybe not 400. That's also a 3 star one, which I don't particularly trust myself with right now. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on to Summerstad. Where is number where is man number five? Where is this lad? Alright, he'll now be known as Hilmar Catch This Hand lad for his absolute brutality with those fists those hams are serious backup weapons all right let's see so obviously we could technically use um the weaponsmith here to do some repairs just so we can unlock um the armorsmith for the retinue which i am going to quickly do um just to set just because it's cheap and it all counts. Stuff like six gold, it really means no difference at all to your money supply, and it makes it way worth it. So now, if I left and looked at my retinue, and say exit the opening screen, you can now see that the blacksmith is actually available. Scout's also available as well, because we ended up fighting more beasts. Um, honestly, between the three right now, I would definitely pick the blacksmith. Being 3,000 though, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Let's see what we got. So, we got Brawler. Brawlers, like I say, I'm not the biggest fan of, but they can also pack a serious punch. And they're also cheap. Well, if you don't have weapons, in general they have a, a decent melee damage. And I could definitely, if he dies, I'm not really losing much out. So I am actually going to give him a try to see what perks he's got. Hello, Holstein. 
you have no perks. <sighs> and your melee is just above average. Your resolve is okay. Your fatigue's okay. Let's let's see what you can do. I'm gonna put you in put you in front line. I'm never gonna give you a ranged weapon because you'll probably just lose them. Let's ooh. I'm a big fan of axes. He looks very Vikingish. I'm actually gonna give him more of a Vikingish name. And he's not been a lad until he's proved himself, so he should have to wait his turn. But let's see what goes. Because axes are quite useful, especially when you get to a lot of battles with shield walls. Because you can actually just break through them. The better it acts, the more damage it does. Another delivery quest. Where's it going? Vardestead? Is that literally the one down the road? It is indeed. I am going to quickly do that for easy money and also for easy reputation. Easy money. Let's see if there's anything waiting for us here. Any boys? Boy, is there. But man, he is way too expensive right now. The stuff he comes with isn't great either, like that's worth about 200. His stuff probably comes to about 400, so I'm really paying a thousand crowns to the man. Like, he starts off at level 2, which is okay, but. And certain levels are alright in early game, but. Not right now. So I'm going to do a bit of a pass on him. Never needs healing. You have a quick gander at the marketplace to see if there's anything worth. God, 600. 400. That's a little bit mad. Nothing. That's 400 as well. It's all double priced. Do they all hate me? Maybe we do. Let's see what we got. Well, we secured a crypt last time with some almost dead people. How worse can it go this time? Ah, Naxera is my old friends. And it's dark. There's only five of them, so this will give the perfect time for Torbjorn to really show himself. Or get murdered. I really hope the first one. Guys, come on man. Wake up. <sighs> Fine. Alright. I'll help my friend, man. Don't you dare. Alright, that's okay. The kill would be actually really handy for him. I'll tell you about that. That's fine. I'm going to move up here to give a bit more zone control and surrounding. Maybe he'll be focused on attacking me. No. Cool story. I hope this doesn't start becoming a thing, but... Rock'em sock'em. All that. Easy peasy. Just a few whiffs which made it a little bit more difficult, but other than that, even found some crowns in the interim. Let's go get paid. Okay, well, the only quest here is a caravan quest for four days, which is good pay, but like I say, caravan quests are usually not really worth it. The only reason you would do a caravan quest would be to increase the chance of a legendary weapon appearing in an area, like the city or the citadel or whatever, um, because it increases the amount of stuff within the market. But as it stands, it's not worth it. I'll probably get everyone killed, so we're going to move on. Gonna check one more place possibly, and then probably gonna wrap it up for the day.
nothing really worth it. Sucks. Yeah, what the fuck was that noise? Oh, hello. This could get brutal very quickly. Alright, so four readers attacked me on the way to, down to Tarbonus. Um, I was going to do it off camera, but I actually decided that this might actually be quite a spicy fight. Because although there's only four of them, they're pretty armoured up to the teeth. And they can prove a significant issue. I imagine the only reason these caravan hands are going to help me out is just to ruin the fatigue of these guys. So, let's see how it goes. You guys just hiding behind me? Cool. Wow, we actually dodged it. These guys are... Uh, what? Wily. Wow! Who are these guys? They're just guys with sticks! Ah. Suddenly got a bigger appreciation for them, let's say. No problem being, our archer is currently a little bit stuck. <clears throat> so, do we need to give him a hand? Get out of there. Adrenaline, you love to see it. He might do a big old swing in his next move, which could end up being quite bad for Hilmar. Oh shit. Well, they're doing, they're dancing, they're dancing. But boy, they're dancing like mad. Come on, stun him. Please stun him. You tried. Ah, damn. Well, when in Rome. Get him. <laughs> Love this man. I hope he never dies. Go on, clock him. At least they're still going for that caravan, man. That's fine. This guy's almost out on his way out. This guy's almost on his way out. Are they about to tip? Oh, man! 
caravan guards. Can I hire you? You're really showing up those other caravan guards who got pulverized by wolves at the very start. Gonna make him change, he's gonna lose his take. He's out of here! He's stunned, so he ain't, he ain't doing no. These guys are probably feeling pretty good now. He's out of there. He's still kicking. This man? He is an angry man. Alright, boys. Soft him up. Still, still there. You know what? I'm not going to take the kill. I'm going to let someone else do it. I said I'm going to let someone else do it. I said I'm going to let someone else do it. Oh my god, someone kill him. Thank you. Jeez, sweat. That was definitely worth it. We've got some 105 helmets. We've got 145 helmet. That is actually what we're looking for. Vision's not great, but we don't really need vision for our frontliners anyway, so that's not too much of an issue. A mix of everything. Great. Definitely worth doing. Let's sally forth over to Talbot Moose, and I will equip my guys on the way. Alright, Talbot Moose, our old friend. This seems to be our regular watering hole now, which I'm completely fine with. Um, I'm going to get rid of these because I'm not really big on using the actual barbarian weapons anyway. Um, as it stands, we're actually in a pretty good position now. Um, Torbjorn did get a few kills, he has leveled up. Um, I've decided that I am going to try and level Torbjorn up to be the eventual sergeant because his resolve is actually pretty decent. His melee skills are okay, um, and his range defense is decent, so if I equip him with a pole arm and give him rival troops, then I've got the flag and everything, so I think it'd be perfect. I'm going to see if there's anyone worth taking here. I wouldn't mind another archer. I did say I wanted two by the end of the episode, but I don't want to just buy one for the sake of fulfilling that. Or do I? No, you know what? I won't. We didn't get to six. We got to five. I would say that's good enough for me. And if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for the lads. What's this? Webnex. Well, this is going to be a perfect end to the to the episode with more spiders. Why is it full of the spiders? Why can't it just be full of the butterflies? All right, you eight legged assholes. Let's go. Oh, I'm surrounded. That's weak. Now, I feel like this might actually be one of the ones where they've laid eggs. Just keep an eye on that number. If it starts going up, then we might be in trouble. Especially with our boys who are a little green around the gills. They're not great. They're not terrible. As I continue to say. But there are quite a few of them. At the same time, this seems to be going quite swimmingly. Touch wood. I did just kill a few of them though, and the number did go up. So there definitely are eggs kicking about. And now we're all getting webbed up. Because of course we are. 63. I'll say 63. Hilmar, hello. Welcome to using range. Nice. I clicked on the wrong area, but it is what it is. 
Mm, they're really hard to get through me. There comes the poison, lads. Nine. Nine. I'm gonna try and get out. No look for Torbjorn there. But it's okay there. Okay. We're on 82, 82. Well, I'll hit one of them. There's another one kicking about somewhere. I think we've kind of got the monopoly on spider killing at this point. Okay, we out. We out! Oh, I need to stop doing that. Can you get around? Can't really get around. That's fine. He's gonna do that. Little tiny baby one's gonna appear. He's not getting through my armor. I don't want to shoot him in the ass. That's absolutely fine. You stay there to cover the archer. You make him route. You know what? You come down. You stay there. See you. They're all coming out there. Forest now. Oh man. Hey. Really showing your worth right now. Bonk. Four to go. There's one more in the forest somewhere. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Also fine. Try and escape. See what happens. I'm going to say they're all going to rout, so let's just chill in this awful, sticky substance. It's so Yeah. I think we've got the lockdown on spider culling now. Nice, easy 640 crowns. So, hey, we might actually hire our last guy before the end. Alright, so as you see, I've decided to go a bit of a different way with it. The poacher wasn't looking too great, um, so I decided to get Dietrich the Woodsman instead. Or. the Woods Lad. Um, he does have Bloodthirsty, which means all kills of fatalities, which in this case is fine. Um, Seeing as I am going to make, try and make Torbjorn my soldier, I will eventually be changing out his axe for a pole arm weapon or the flag when we get that. Uh, or banner, sorry. So, Dietrich will most likely become an axe man. But other than that, I would say that's a good way to end the episode. We did actually manage to get our six men. We didn't get everyone with... 100 armor, we did find some pretty decent helmets, and we are well on our way. We didn't get anyone up into proficiency either, but the next level up for certain people should be the next one, as it were. Um, as always, uh, feel free to leave a like, a comment, or subscribe to this channel to further promote this insane idiot trying to do the hardest difficulties on all the hardest games. But for now, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time.